Say welcome. Welcome to my channel. To my channel. Hey guys, uh, welcome back. So it's been quite a while. Hi. Hi. Um, can I get that? Can you get what? Can I get that? You get it? Just look at it. We talk to it. We say hi. I need that. Oh yeah. What do you What do you need? I need. I need a. I need a little one. You need a little one? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Can I have a little one for you? You're right there. Things have been going on <laughs> with everything. Basically, kids didn't have school. They were homeschooled, so I took on the role of doing homeschool. And then... I need a red one. <laughs> <laughs> Come here. Um, and then we moved. We moved to Texas because of this <laughs> pandemic nonsense. <laughs> So, first video back, maybe, you might, I've been working on another one, but it's a multi-part, lots of work involved. So this might be the first video that you see. So I was just gonna, I just got this chainsaw, and I figured I'd do an unboxing video and tell you guys a little bit as to why I got it, as far as like, why I picked this one. I mean, so it's like an unboxing slash here's my thought. So maybe this is helpful for people out there. I'm not by any means a professional or a forester, but I have used chainsaws before and I knew what I wanted. And I think this is a good starting one. Do you agree? Yeah. Is it a cool chainsaw? Yeah. Let's see. So this got the Husqvarna, or however you pronounce it. Uh, 440E, it's a 40cc engine with a 18 inch bar, which is this thing. I think with a 18 inch bar, you can cut through a 32 inch diameter tree is what they claim. So here it is. Chainsaw. That's a chainsaw. Yeah, hi guys. Hi guys. All right, so basically, the reason I got a Husqvarna is I wanted a still. Still is, I think, the best. But they're very expensive. And we don't have a ton of trees. Thank you. We don't have a ton of trees. I'm not gonna be, like, actually falling trees. I didn't need top of the line. But I think Husqvarna is a close second. And I think other people would agree with that. <laughs> I got your hat. Give me my hat. <laughs> no. <laughs> and also, I mean, like the Husqvarna that I wanted was like seven, eight hundred bucks. And then this, <laughs> which I think was probably a close equivalent, was three hundred bucks. <laughs> Two ninety nine ninety nine. No. <laughs> you can pick one up at Tractor Supply or Lowe's. Uh, I wish Home Depot carried them because I like Home Depot better than Lowe's. So yeah, on to the unboxing. Um, they give you a little bag with instructions. Some oil, because it is a two-stroke. Because I don't know if they even make four-stroke chainsaws. Yeah. If they did and they had enough torque to be a chainsaw, I would buy one. I don't like two-strokes. They're loud. And the mixing the oil nonsense is just annoying. I lost my hat, so now you get to look at my hair. Also gives you a little spark plug and miscellaneous nut adapter thing with the screwdriver so you can tighten and loosen your bar and other things. And that's it. Now onto the fun stuff. Good packaging. It's not going anywhere. The heck? What's happening? Oh, yes. Here it is. I like it. I think most of them are orange, just because it's like the, something with, to do with the timber guys. They wear orange because it's more visual in the woods. I don't know. It's not too heavy. Feels pretty good. Size, yeah. Can I try it? First look. It looks good. Here, you want to pick it up? See if it's see if it's he too heavy for size. Size. It's too heavy. Is it too heavy? Yes, I can. So. If you're buying one for a three-year-old, don't get this. It's a little too heavy. They do make small little mini ones with like, I think, eight-inch bars. Perfect for three-year-olds. It's too heavy. I'll let you know when I use it. 
I'm sure later in the video you'll hear me either complaining or talking about it a lot, but that's about it. Um, comparison wise, I don't know if size comparison helps. Here's my arm. I think with the 40cc, you can run like a 24 inch bar, technically. I think they'll tell you you can only go up like two inches, but I believe you can go up more. With a 24 inch bar on here, this is all you need. So I know this video is quick and not probably something that anybody really wants to see, but I needed to get a video out because it had been so long and at least let you guys know where I went and that I'm still doing the channel. I have a video in the works, but it's building out our garage. So it's a long video and I'm now waiting on the garage door guy to call me back. <laughs> So, I got this helmet. I don't really think I need a helmet, but it came with the ear things and then this, which is pretty nice. It's only like 50 bucks, so. <laughs> You've never been more attractive. You can help, brother? Okay, we gotta stand really far back, huh? All right, let's give it a shot. <laughs> Please keep this in there. Good overall. Bogged down a few times. I don't know if that was just user error or chainsaw error. But uh, yeah, overall, I, I think it'll get the job done for what I need. I actually, I was gonna think, I was thinking about putting a bigger bar on it, but I think it would bog it down. So I actually don't think I'll be doing that. I think you need a bigger engine if you need a much bigger bar. What do you think, bud? Is it good? No. No. Do you want to cut? No. Cheapers. That's about it. So thanks for stopping by. Um, thanks for watching this video. Give this a thumbs up. Have a comment. And like, comment, subscribe. Oh yeah. Don't forget to subscribe to my daddy's channel. Also, don't forget to check out some of JW who coordination some of. Get out of here! You don't need to plug mom's stuff. Hey. You little punk. She's the one who edits your videos. No, I edit my own, all by myself. Yeah. Punk. She's the one who edits your videos. No.
I had it my own. All by myself. Yeah. You did mom didn't teach you? She taught me. Exactly. Get out of here. Don't forget to check out JW.